Good afternoon, everybody. It's my lower energy time because I spent the morning with the horses. It was so relaxing. I'm telling you, they just, I'm probably going to save, they're probably going to save me years all my life. I swear, because they're just my animals and I just love them so much. And so uh, if you want to see, look at the shorts, you'll see how I'm connecting with them. If anybody wants to know how do you connect with a new horse, you got to take your time. You got to be patient. Uh, patience is the key to horses because you want them to feel comfortable with you and you've got to establish that connection first and foremost and that's what I'm working on so um, and they're still in quarantine for the first month to see if they picked up anything and they've got both of them have runny noses they're brothers they're 12 they were born 12 days apart they're they're really good so I hope you'll check out some of the shorts and comment down below what you think of them and what you think of my process of connecting with them and I'd love to hear only if it's positive right I don't like criticism. So guys, I want to bring you the Iraqi update before I go into my evening. I, these, these, in order to make time for the horses, I'm doing most of my appointments late afternoon or late, late morning to late night. So, you know, just keep me in prayers today because I'm very busy today, but I'm helping all y'all that want the pre, um, RV strategy that allows you to do private, right? That's all I can say about that. Um, Mark Z, this is Mark Z's notes. This is turning out to be a very exciting week. Um, today in history, I guess, the United States Senate Watergate Committee began televised hearings investigating the Watergate scandal that eventually led to the resignation of President Richard Nixon. Who knows? Mark Z said, let's get started. Nader has been getting attacked just like I am and others about his float comments. He highlights an article that was released late Sunday, early Monday in Iraq. In fact, I just watched Nader's video. He apologized. He said he talked to Frank. It's all good. So, yet yeah, Nader's been getting attacked. We've all, we all get attacked. Anybody on YouTube that puts us, ourselves out there, we're getting attacked, especially for believing in this. But guys, the good Lord got me into this and the good Lord told me it's done. So I'm here to provide continuous encouragement to you and a different kind of strategy if you're uncomfortable with the existing process because of my background as an auditor and a corporate finance executive and having done audits of banks, I know the procedures they follow. So that might be the safest bet these days, I'm just saying, given all the things that are going on. Um, so you can just contact me if you want that information. I'll leave my email down below. Um, Mark Z said, um, let's see, it's talking about floating, how the official rate is still set, but they left it floating in a range around the official rate. Mark Z said, what we are seeing and what people on the streets over there, because it's only done in Iraq right now, People that live there and work there is that they are seeing a very wide floating range, 1,100 dinars to a, I think it's 1,100 dinar to one dollar, is it? I don't know. 1,100 to 1,150 is what many are insisting. Um, a member mentioned the Kuwaiti Central Bank did not publish a rate change until about 10 days after the rate had been floating. The CBI is probably the last place you should be looking for a rate change. What the Iraqi citizens are seeing on the streets is different from what they put out in the press. Of course, Nader touches on this. Guys, the press is obviously controlled. So are the banks. So just be aware of that. So be aware of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That's everywhere these days. So I'm glad you're tuning in to me. I always say, if you have fear, come here. Um, I think my strategies make the most sense, to be honest. Um, Mark Z said, even contractors who get paid from one day to the next are having to renegotiate their rate because it's constantly changing. It is floating, changing, and moving. It is officially on a float, according to the CBI. But according to people on the streets, they are experiencing the float. According to CBI, it's not floating. <laughs> That's what they have to say. Just saying. Uh, Mark Z said, a former deputy demands a response to the U.S. violations. What about the ambassador's movements? The story broke yesterday in Iraq. They are talking about the U.S. foreign policy. They do not have permission to use missiles in Iraq. The Iraqi people are standing up more and more to these controls. Um, and Mark Z quoted, CBI sells $216 million in Forex on Monday. That just means they sucked a tremendous amount of dinar off the streets from foreign people trading things and buying things. $216 million in USD is $281 billion in Iraqi dinar that was pulled off the streets. We are watching them do everything they need to do to increase the value of the dinar. They are preparing for it. That is de-dollarization. Um, Mark Z said they did not vote on the budget yet. We are told to expect the vote now on Saturday, but 
Last Saturday, we started to see them ship the oil out of Herbal through Turkey, which is part of the HCL, the Harbor Carbon Laws. Um, the belief is from almost all the contacts he has is that they have already passed it and are waiting to announce it. I am guessing they are dotting the I's and crossing the T's, the last T's right now before they announce it to their people. And um, one member was asking about Treasury, right? I don't think if they were waiting event at Treasury before they push the button, I don't think the U.S. has anything to do with this, as I've said before in my live this morning, which had a lot of first time at the barn, but you see the horses, but there was a lot of communication issues. I think I figured it out, so it'll be better tomorrow because I'll be at the barn again. I will. <laughs> I have to be at the barn every morning because I walk my dogs in the afternoon. I got to take care of all four babies now. I, I just doubled the size of my family. Um, Wolverine said the codes were sent to the Treasury yesterday and ready for the green light. Um, after the IQD RVs and small denomination bills are introduced, I wonder how long do you think we will have to redeem the larger notes before they are deemed to have no value? Um, Mark C said in depth, Texas lawmakers consider creating gold backed digital currency. That's central bank digital currency, by the way, even if they say it's gold backed, I thought you should be concerned. It would use an existing debit card type format. Your assets would be held in tokenized metals. Of course, this is becoming more and more mainstream news. Yep. Texas gold backed currency effective September 23 with a question mark. Indonesia introducing a new national payment system in the news today. Marxy said no news from bankers or historic bonds folk. They are being leaned on to be exceptionally quiet. Uh, they did have expectations for yesterday and this morning. They feel like they're on a minute by minute watch. Even my, our redemption center, his redemption center contracts are watching minute by minute right now. Um, everybody's hoping it's close, guys. Everybody's ready. I'm certainly ready because I stepped out on faith and bought two big thoroughbreds that eat a lot and need to gain weight. So then they'll just eat even more. Um, Mark was said, I wonder, does the Emergencies Act Joe Biden reenacted yesterday affect the RV in any way? Mark's wondering. I don't think it does, but you know, to you know, you'd have to set up a time with me if you want to know what I really think. Because I'm, you know, if he's saying that, I'm going to follow what he says because he's got the most subscribers and he's the one who stays up most of the time, right? Um, I'm going down. Andy Sheckman, of course, was on. Guys, everybody, just make sure you're diversified. Don't just get all silver and gold, guys. Make sure you're diversified because what if they don't go gold backed? Have you thought of that? Just saying, stay diversified. Um, Let's see. This is Dinarland Highlights by Sandy Ingram, RV Already, and Mark Z. She's summarizing it, and I'm going to use her summary today. Uh, the governor of the central bank comments on the recent rise in the dollar exchange rate. He pointed out that those who go to buy dollar from the black market may experience problems in the transactions they make. It sounds as if Iraq got the message loud and clear from the United States. We do not know how this will affect the exchange rate in the future. RV already, TNT. It would seem the RV is in the hands of the Central Bank of Iraq and no longer waiting on anything from Parliament. I agree. Hopefully we'll see an RIRV really soon. I agree with TNT, Tony. Uh, Mark Z, Iraqi Stock Exchange achieves the first place in the Arab world in the volume and rate of daily trading. Yep. I think I reported on that last week. It's really cool. This is huge. Iraq is positioning itself to be the cultural hub of the Middle East, unseating Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and the entire region. This tells us where Iraq is heading in terms of a valuable currency. What we are seeing and what people on the streets over there are telling me, people that live there and work there, is that they are seeing a wide variety of floating rates. We just talked about that. Um, so on the streets, people that work there say it's on a float. The CBI says it's not, but it is in actuality. So it's very kind of confusing, but you just have to hang on guys. Cause you know, they don't tell you the truth. They don't tell you what they're going to do. Right. Um, and in fact, there's a lot of misinformation around the end. We've always known that. So Firefly, this is, uh, under Frank 26 context. They're talking about how the oil and gas laws are in the budget. Wow. The hydrocarbon laws. No wonder you're not using the dollar. Frank said. <laughs> Iraq's banned from trading the U.S. dollars. That is an article. That's the title of an article. They banned the American dollar. They can't use any foreign currency inside of Iraq. Uh, guys, that is great news for us. Bad for the U.S., but good for Iraq. And I, I believe the citizens have suffered 20 years is long enough. Uh, we just started suffering. We've been suffering, what, two years? Well, just wait. Just wait. Um, Anyway, so that's that. And then Judy's notes from today. I'm going to do that. USA to run out of cash by Thursday. Yep, that's what they say. I don't know how they can say that with everything going burr. Just saying, Fed go burr. 
Uh, prepare and get ready. The storm is almost here. Janet Yellen, Secretary of the Treasury, says all chaos will ensue. Yes, of course she does, because they want you scared. When you have fear, you come to my channel. Don't be afraid. God's, God's kids are going to be protected. God's already provided me the strategies with a way out. So if you want to know what those are, contact me. Um, trust the plan. Nassara Jassara RV QFS. Nassara Jassara. If you got on my Zoom on the 15th, I pulled all that together. That Aspects of that are true. Oh my gosh, I just got deja vu. Crazy. This is my purpose right now, guys. RV QFS and Nassara Jassara. The end of global poverty. Trust the plan. American media. Yeah. Trust the plan. Do you trust the plan? Do you trust the plan? Time will tell. It's good to be prepared, though. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Guys, I love you. Uh, I hope you like this quick, fast summary. That's what I do for the community. I just provide quick, fast, up-to-date summaries daily. And then I also, for my members, as low as $2.99 a month, I give daily Bible studies to encourage you. All the scriptures on... on um, prosperity, all the scriptures around money, how to have more money, how to manifest this miracle. And then for my premium members, we're doing two Zooms a month, hour of my time, uncensored on Zoom. It's a private Zoom, offline. Uh, you're going to want to be part of that for $24.99. You get two of those. And then you get access to the replays as well. I haven't figured out how to do that efficiently yet. It's been a lot of work, but it's worth it. And I hope you will take advantage of it because you really need this information. And if you join any time this month before the end of the month, you'll get the replay of the first one because we didn't have enough slots. So my husband and I are going to go out on a limb, take a leap of faith, and buy, spend $699 before the end of this month. Like, like we haven't been shelling out enough for our new horses. But it's worth it to serve you, right? We don't want anybody locked out. So, but make sure you get on early on the 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on May the 30th. Mark your calendars. That's how you get in on that. For those of you who are already in as members, you're ready. You, you should take advantage of that. Um, what am I doing here? Why did I go to the Word? Well, praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for He is gracious and lovely. Praise is becoming inappropriate. The Lord is building up Jerusalem. He's gathering together the exiles of Israel. He heals brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, curing their pains and their sorrows. He determines and counts the number of the stars. He calls them all by their name. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is inexhaustible and boundless. The Lord lifts up the humble and downtrodden. He casts the wicked down to the ground. Guys, sing to the Lord. Worship him all the time. And uh, you won't be sorry. God bless you. Have a good day. Comment down below. If you're feeling blessed, comment 777. Bye.